Before we begin, let's take a moment of silence for the missing people in the Fairbanks area. Dorianta, my name is Renee Linton. My family is from Holkchuk. I was born and raised here in Fairbanks. I am the daughter of Peggy Nicholas. I am the granddaughter of the late Wilbert Nicholas Sr. and the late Harriet Nicholas. Um, I, would, I am running to be on the FNA board because I feel like I've acquired enough experience to do an excellent job. I received a bachelor's in social work and a business minor in 2010. I've worked on and off for TCC for the last eight years. When I first started working at TCC, I worked in the child protection program. I was the World Domestic Violence Sexual Assault Coordinator. During those three years, I was I had the opportunity to travel to 29 of the 37 federally recognized communities. Uh, from that position, I switched from intervention to prevention. I worked for the Big Brothers Big Sisters of Alaska in a statewide position managing a grant. Um, I was able to work from Fairbanks, Anchorage, Juneau, and Utiavik and served different Alaska Native cultures during that time. I came back to TCC in 2016 as the Community Planning Coordinator, where I continued working um, with Interior Athabascan Tribes with um, community planning. Uh, I was promoted to the Rural Economic Development Specialist position, where I am currently. Um, I believe that my current position has prepared me to serve on the board um, during these COVID pandemic times. And I've come from a really long, strong, resilient um, background with um, intelligent women. And I have a desire to um, make my family proud. And I think everyone reach, reaches that point in their life where they feel like they need to give back or they're looking for their purpose. And I believe my purpose is to serve the Alaska Native people in the Fairbanks area. I believe I've effectively served rural communities and I'm ready to serve the community that I've always called home. Through my different careers, I had opportunities to serve on various boards like the Stevie's Place, the Child Advocacy Center, um, the Disability Abuse Response Team, and I was um, on the committee for Alaska Native Education as a community representative for one year. So I have a significant experience serving Indigenous people across the state and within the TC region. I'm passionate about creating positive community change by improving the quality of life and working towards the betterment, betterment of Alaska Native people in Fairbanks. I regularly, att regularly attend and participate in the Fairbanks North Star Borough Economic Development Commission. Although I'm not a sitting commissioner, I do make public comment on the different items, uh, such as the recent Interior Alaska COVID-19 Economic Impact and Recovery Plan. I believe in the program that programs that FNA has. I feel promoting positive wellness on the community level is crucial for the benefit, uh, the benefit of people in Fairbanks. If I'm elected, I plan to continue the vision of FMA that we are a unified, healthy, and empowered Native community who embraces all cultures. The current pandemic system has systems changing and adapting in innovative new ways. I feel like I'm a resilient leader who can adapt to these changing times. I am currently working with the Economic Development Administration um, in creating an economic recovery and resiliency plan for TCC. And then I hope to serve the Fairbanks community to the best of my ability. Thank you for your time and your consideration in voting for me. Please vote on Friday, March 12th, 3 to 7 at the Tribal Hall in a best seat.